Good day, grade 9. This is your 3D shapes uh, of the 20th of April, exercise 3. This is your day 13 exercise. So let's look at this table. Okay, I put the English there on top. Uh, first, they're asking for these platonic figures, they're asking for the name of the shape, then the shape of the faces, the um, number of faces, the number of vertices the number of edges and then also the number of um, faces plus vertices and edges plus two. If you can remember from two days ago, these two give a rule which is called Euler's rule or Euler's rule. Euler, Euler's rule uh, says that those two will be equal. Faces plus vertices is equal to edges plus two if, it, uh, if they are platonic figures. Okay, so platonic figures are figures that are made up of the same shape, 3D figures. So if we look at the first one there, we can see that this is all triangles put together. The second one is all squares put together to make a um, 3D figure. So that's what it's all about. Let's quickly look at this. Please follow my highlighter as I go. So first what we need to do is we need to name the figure. So let's quickly first name all of the figures. First we have a tetrahedron. Okay, That's one with four faces. The shape of the faces are all triangles. Then the vertices are four, the edges are six, and then I add the vertices and um, faces to get eight, and I add the edges plus two, I get eight. Right. The next one is a cube. Please ignore the Afrikaans. The cube's faces are square, it has 6 faces, 8 vertices, 12 edges, and then I get 14 and 14 in the end. Then I have an octahedron. Octahedron has 8 faces. All the um, faces are triangles. Then I have 6 vertices, 12 edges, and I get 14 and 14 in the end. Then I have that thing that almost looks like a soccer ball. It's called a dodecahedron. Dodecahedron has 12 faces. All the faces are pentagonal, and they are pentagons. Then the vertices are 20, the edges are 30, and I get 32 and 32 in the end if I add those things. Then I have an icosahedron. Icosahedron has triangle faces and it has 20 faces, 12 vertices and 30 edges and I get 32 and 32 in the end. Guys, this is very important. You need to study this for the exam. Um, these things will be asked, any of these can be asked in the exam. Next, we have a few questions. On the left side over here, I have Afrikaans. Just ignore the Afrikaans. We are going to look at the right side. Write down the relation between the number of faces, the number of vertices, and the number of edges. Okay, so what they're asking us, what is the relationship between these two last columns? What do we see? They are equal. So what I can do is I can write that equal in my next Question. So at number 3.2, I can write the faces plus the vertices is equal to the edges plus 2. And that is Euler's law. Okay, then complete the following. While reading a book, Sam read that a building has six sides. This building is an example of what shape? Okay, so if a building has six sides like this, one, two, three, four, 
Ooh, I'm making a five. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. And then it goes up. Oh, excuse my drawing. So if the building looks something like this. Oh, that's a very bad drawing. Luckily, I'm not the art teacher. So if I have that, I think it's an hexagonal prism. Then, for an art project, Kortso cut a sheet of paper into a shape with four sides, but none of the sides are the same length. What type of, what shape is the prism? It's a paper, it's an ir irregular prism. So, even though the paper is very thin, if I have four sides that are not equal, I can say it's an irregular prism because I don't have the same length because it's so it's irregular and also it's a prism because it's a 3d shape then Fred found a coin with 10 sides what shape is the coin that's called a decagonal prism decagonal prism deca is always the prefix for 10 10 sides Right, then we have to name the following real life shapes. We have a tin there, and that is a cylinder. Then we have a cone. Then we have a soccer ball, which is, which is a sphere. And that thing, which almost looks like a crystal, is an octagon. Okay, and that is it for today. Please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your teacher. The email addresses are on the website.